Hey, what's going on, NFL fans, Atlanta Falcon fans? It's your boy, Antoine Smithy Smith, Smithy Sports Machine. Y'all know I get down, man. Y'all know I do it. Press that subscribe button. Also, press that notification bell to get my videos as soon as I drop them. Press that like button, man. Help me get my recommendations up. To get my video through the YouTube universe, I greatly appreciate y'all as always. But right quick, man, very quick, the Falcons have re-signed Damone Harris. And <clears throat> this is not a surprise because if y'all been watching... Uh, the Falcons are struggling a little bit up front getting to the quarterback. Uh, and as you see it, they only have, I think, four sacks going into game three. So I think adding more size to the defense in front only makes sense. Um, they turned it on the second half, but I think they need to go a full four quarters getting out to the quarterback. And going to Detroit, they're going to have to do that. They throw Jerry Goff timing off because once that dude get in the rhythm, it's over for anybody. Uh, but Demon Harris is six foot four, two seventy five, so he could play stand up outside linebacker, or he can play a three four in. And as you seen last week, I think Calais Campbell, to me, played too many snaps last week, and you know the tiring you saw it uh, late in the game. But I think this is more of a depth move, and I think uh, going forward they're going to keep more edge rushes on his roster uh, and keep rotating them on and off the 53 man roster. So uh Damon Harris is a, another added piece. And if y'all remember as I told y'all before, he's a former Super Bowl champion. So he brings that aspect to the Falcons as well. But um Damon Harris has been re-signed by the Falcons. But right quick, another good pointer right quick. Uh B. John Robinson, 172 total yards and a touchdown. And Going into Detroit, man, I think this is going to be, uh, he's going to be super key because uh, as I look at it, the Lions are only giving up 86 yards a game on the ground the first two games, which is pretty good. Uh, but total yards, 354 total yards are given up, which is near the bottom five of the league, 268 through the air. So, B. John Robinson going into this game after that stellar performance last week. I think the Falcons have a clear advantage with him again. Um, I could see Drake London, Kyle Pitts eating this game because I think the Detroit Lions linebackers they're uh, they're okay, but a six foot six, two hundred and fifty five pound target. Um, I think this is the game that he should eat, and this could be his breakout game uh, of the season. Uh, so going forward uh, with what Detroit has, um, I think. B. John Robinson is going to be key again and again. And I think um, Pitts and London, uh, they will eat this week too. And uh, look for Desmond really to probably have another big game because giving up 354 yards a game the first two games is not, you know, not all that good. But um, the Falcons have to take advantage. I know it's going to be a tough game in Detroit, and it's all, it always is. Uh, but we'll see how it turns out. But B. John Robinson, just watch out for him. And I think uh, – I think he's going to do his thing for a second straight week. But those are my quick thoughts. Uh, tell me what y'all think. Damon Harris a good signing? B. John Robinson and Key versus Detroit? Drop those comments. Let's debate this have fun, man. Y'all know how we do it on the sports machine. It's your boy Antoine Smith Smith signing off. Holler at y'all later, man. Peace.